Hello everyone! Today we're going to learn about something super useful in sentences called subject personal pronouns. These are special words that replace the subject in a sentence, so we don't have to keep repeating names. For example, instead of saying Maria likes Maria's book, we can say she likes her book. It sounds much clearer right? We use singular pronouns when talking about one person or thing and plural pronouns when talking about more than one. Ready to learn more? Let's go! First, let's talk about singular subject pronouns. These are used when we're talking about just one person, animal or thing. Here are some examples. I am studying. That's me talking about myself. He is playing basketball. That's about one boy. She likes mangoes. That's for one girl. And it's raining. That's about one thing like the weather. So, remember, I is for yourself. He is for a boy, she is for a girl, and it is for an object or animal. Easy, right? Now, let's learn about plural subject pronouns. These are for when we're talking about more than one person, animal, or thing. Here are some examples. We are going to the park. That's a group including me. You are my friends. That's talking to a group. And they are playing outside. That's more than one person. So, we includes you and others. You can be for one person or a group. And they is for multiple people, animals, or things. Can you think of a sentence using they? Let's compare singular and plural pronouns side by side. Singular pronouns include I, you, he, she, and it. And they're used for one person or thing. Plural pronouns are we, you, and they, and they're used for groups. For example, if I say, she loves to read, and then I want to talk about more than one person, it changes to they love to read. See the difference? Let's try a few more examples together. Let's put singular pronouns in context with some sentences. If we say, he is drawing a picture, we're talking about just one person. Or, it is a sunny day, that's talking about one thing, the weather. Singular pronouns like he, she, and it are used for individual actions or descriptions. So, if it's just one, we stick with singular pronouns. Who can give me a sentence with she? Now, let's look at plural pronouns in context. If we say, we are having lunch together, it's about a group including you, or they are students at the school. That's describing more than one person. Plural pronouns like we, you, and they help describe actions or groups of people or things. So, if it's more than one, we go with plural pronouns. Can you make a sentence with we? Time for a little challenge. 
Let's see if we can identify the pronouns in these sentences and decide if they are singular or plural. Ready? First sentence. I love to read Filipino folk tales. Is I singular or plural? Right, it's singular. Next, they are visiting the zoo. Singular or plural? Correct, it's plural. One more. She is planting flowers. That's singular. Great job spotting those pronouns. Sometimes we mix up pronouns, but that's okay. Let's learn from some common mistakes. For example, we should not say they is happy because they is plural and needs are. So the correct sentence is they are happy. Also, remember, I am going, not I are going. It's all about matching the pronoun correctly to the subject. Keep these tips in mind and you'll be a pronoun pro in no time. Let's practice choosing the correct pronouns for these sentences. First up, blank, he, they are going to school together. Which one is correct? That's right, they, because it's a group. Next, blank, we, I, am excited about the field trip. Which pronoun fits? Yes, I am excited because it's just one person. Last one, blank, she, it, is my best friend. What's the answer? That's right, she is my best friend. Awesome job, everyone. Fantastic work today, everyone. Let's review what we learned. Singular pronouns like I, he, she, and it are for one person or thing, while plural pronouns like we, you, and they are for groups. Remember, pronouns must always match the number of the subject they replace. So, whether you're talking about just one friend or all your friends, you now know which pronouns to use. Great job and keep practicing!